Hi everyone, it's Shemila here from Can Do Teach, and in this video we're going to be talking about types of numbers. So since the day you started learning how to count, you've been using numbers every day and adding to this massive collection of numbers that you know and know how to use. So the very first type of numbers that you learned how to use was the natural numbers. And they're the numbers that we use for counting. So numbers like 1, 5, 7, and even 0. So all the whole numbers. And then you would have learned that not only do you have the whole numbers, but you also have negatives of all those numbers. So numbers like negative 1, negative 7, negative 3, all those. So when we add those to our collection, we're talking about the set of integers. Okay, so we've grown our collection. Next, you learn that you don't just have the whole numbers, you've also got the numbers in between those numbers. So all the fractional numbers. So things like a half, three quarters, even mixed numbers like one and a 1.7 or nine and three quarters for any Harry Potter fans out there. So this is our set of rational numbers. And we'll talk in a bit about why it's called rational. And finally, we learned that there was also some numbers that don't quite fit into the rational numbers. So when you learned Pythagoras theorem, you would have learned about thirds, so square root two, square root seven, those kinds of numbers. So those ones don't fit into rational. Um, and then we also have these numbers that are just special numbers like pi or e. Okay, so they all kind of sit outside our set of rational numbers. But altogether, the rational number numbers and all these extra ones make up the set of real numbers. All right? So in maths, we give each of these sets a special symbol. And sometimes it makes sense what the symbol is, um, and sometimes it's a little bit random. So for natural, it's nice and simple. We have the letter N, and we write it with two lines to show that it's talking about that set of natural numbers. Okay? Integers is a little more confusing. That one is Z. Then we've got rational numbers, which are Q, and real numbers, which is R. So because we had R for real, we couldn't use R for rational. And then all these numbers that are real numbers but not rational, they're called the irrational numbers. And so they get the symbol Q dash, because in set notation, whenever we have a dash, that means that's the complement or all the other numbers from the set. So if you're not Q, then you're Q dash. All right? So. That's basically all the numbers laid out for you, but we need to talk a little bit more about rational versus irrational numbers. So the definition of a rational number is actually a number that can be expressed as a ratio of two integers. So if we take any two numbers from this section and write them as a fraction, then we get a rational number. Okay? So if we write those in a decimal form, we'll either get something that's terminating so a decimal that comes to an end after a few decimal places such as 3.456 anything that comes to a stop is a terminating decimal or a repeating decimal So something like 0 0.333 that repeats forever. 
so 0 0.3 repeated. Or something with a longer repeating chain, um, 935, 935, and so on. So 0 0.935 with a bar on top just means that chunk repeats over and over again. Okay, so an irrational number on the other hand, if we write it as a decimal, it will just go on forever without repeating. So an irrational number will be non-terminating. We'll have a non-terminating decimal. So if we write it out, it will be something like 3.14 and keep going on forever without repeating. So that's why we give these kinds of numbers special symbols like pi. All right. Um, one last little point. There are two types of irrational numbers. So we can actually split irrational numbers into these two types. They're called thirds, which are these ones that we write with square root signs, or transcendental numbers. And you don't really have to know those two types, but I just like the name transcendental, so I wanted to show it to you. <laughs> so these are all the types of numbers that you need to know in year 10. If you do do specialist maths, you'll learn one more type of numbers, which is called complex numbers. And if you've ever heard of the number i or imaginary numbers, that's what I'm talking about there. Um, but otherwise, with these numbers, you'll be set. So the important things to remember are what each of them is called and what each of the symbols are, especially the ones that aren't obvious. Um, it's also really important to know the definition of rational and irrational and be able to tell whether a given number is rational or irrational. And finally, if someone says you're working with integers, then you need to know what that means. That, um, okay, we're only talking about whole numbers here, not the in-between numbers. All right. So hopefully that helps you make sense of all these different words and symbols, um, and particularly of how you know whether something's rational or irrational. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll be happy to answer them. Otherwise, you can always get one-to-one -one help at candoteach.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.